Hi, my name is Charles Young. My name is Chris Rhymes. And this is The Black, Black Address. Address. One day. On him to you, man. Something that a lot of people perhaps On him to you. He said the world belongs to you. So what are we going to be talking about, man? All right, man. So uh, today we're going to be talking about pants and how they sag. Oh, those pants sag. Oh, those pants sag. All right. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of young kids, I think I touched on the video um, about, about this kid. He said to me, I asked him, I said, is it okay for a man's butt cheeks to be out? He said, well, what if you have a long shirt? No. Now, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I was like, what, what kind of answer is that? Now, you know, working around young kids, you can see how these hip-hop artists have influenced them to, you know, to have their pants sagging, to, you know, dress all crazy, you know, when they have chances to, 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 to dress down, you know, they just they almost lose their mind, you know, even the girls, you know, they wear like the most skimpiest stuff, and, uh, you know, some, some stuff I'm like, you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't allow your child to come out the house with, you know, but but what they see on TV, that's what they want to be. I know it's been going on from time and time again, but you know, some of this stuff has to stop. And the main one we want to start with, with our youth is, is uh, the pants sagging. You know, what's crazy is women like it too. They mm -hmm. like to see, like, young men dressing with their pants sagging mm -hmm. because they think it's cool and they think it's a trend as well. So, since the dudes like that, since they're getting it from them. You know, they thinking it's cool, you know, mm -hmm. but it really it's messing up everybody, really, because yeah. they don't understand where it's really coming from. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so what we did is, you know, we took some notes. We want to get a little bit of better understanding. You know, the best way to teach somebody about something is to get some understanding. Um, what we learned is, is that pan sagging, you know, it did start in the prison area, but. Yeah, but I don't think the first the first thing was the fact of it was a homosexual action to start it. Um, what we learned is is that uh, what will happen is if you're a new inmate coming in, you know they would only order a, a, a certain amount of clothing. So you know, um, and so you know you come in and if you let's say you're the last guy that gets gets his clothing. Well, they might run out of your size, and you might get stuck with something too big for you. You know, there's, you know, everybody's different size going to prison. So, you know, that's what started the saggy clothes. And you know, they couldn't have belts, they couldn't have uh, shoelaces, none of that stuff. So, what they did, you know, they just had to sag their pants. You know, they had to wear it, and then it turned into. Um, go ahead, tell them what it turned into. You know, it, it turned into pants sagging. You mm -hmm. know, they didn't have a belt to support them, so they fell down. Mm -hmm. You know, and what that really means is it was a sign of invitation. Mm -hmm. It was letting you come in and so you can get with me. Yeah. And that's how it was in like the jail and prisons. Mm -hmm. But it didn't, yeah, and it didn't, but it didn't start that way. A lot of people believe that it started that way. Right. And uh, I, another thing I noticed, it goes, it goes a little bit farther than that. Um, uh, a lot of us know as we're growing up, especially being black, you know, you don't have the, your parents don't have the most money, the most, you know, the most everything, you know, not silver spoon it. So we had hand-me-downs, you know, you, you get hand-me-downs. Hell, I, I got hand-me-downs from my pops. I got hand-me-downs from my brother, you know, my, my uncles and cousins. I still get them now, you know. Uh, so it, it started off as, you know, you would wear one of your uh, older siblings clothing once they grew out of it and it was just handed down to you I don't think there's nothing wrong with that I mean that's what Goodwill is that's what uh, Salvation Army is you know there's all other different places so I don't think there's anything wrong with hand-me-downs but you know you your clothes would be baggy and saggy you know what I'm saying but it has turned into a trend and um go ahead and tell them you know it turned into a trend I don't I don't understand why but it's come through jail and prison through hip-hop mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of these rappers understand what's going on. They know where it came from. So it's kind of like, why are they doing it? Mm -hmm. You know, we really got to ask ourselves that question. You know, should we be really influenced by these rappers like this? Mm -hmm. You know, when I when I see these rappers with their pants sagging, displaying their underwear, when they're at award shows and ceremonies and whatnot, you know, it's kind of it's kind of sad to know that this generation is influenced by all this. This whole generation is just portraying mm -hmm. the same thing, and they want to be they and they just want to be like their idol. You know, yeah. think about it. You know, we're, we're we're uh, promoted to, we're shown to our, uh, you know, our favorite artists all day, all the time, mm -hmm. and and twenty four seven. You know, you want to be like them. You know, all of us wanted to be like Tupac. You know, everybody wanted to do the Thug Life thing. You know, not all of us grew. We could, some of us, most of us grew out of it, but some of them kept kept to that. But they didn't really understand who Tupac really was in his message. Even when he sagged his pants, he wanted to show that his his difference from the society. But now everybody is just wearing the same thing. So does that make you different? I really don't think it makes you different at all. Because everybody's doing it. Exactly. So when everybody is doing it, how does that make you different? You know, I, heck, it's so bad that that being different now is pulling your pants up, and and right. that's crazy. You know, like like I said, we 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 start off. You know, we wanted to do the same thing. You know, the sagging the pants. You know, we really didn't under, understand it. You know, wearing the Jordans and all that stuff. You know, we you know we we liked it too. We were young at that point, but now we understand like how bad it's getting. It's getting so bad to where these. these your pants don't even need to be on. Your you know, pants is at your ankle. Yeah, and almost. You know, you know, it's not like we're not saying pull your pants all the way up, put a belt on, and keep it mm -hmm. to the last put hole. Some, put some, some, <laughs> some suspenders some on. on it. We're not saying that. It's just we don't want to. We don't like seeing that, especially for our race. We don't want to see a young black man walking down the street with his pants sagging and, and can't barely walk. Mm -hmm. You know, because that makes us look bad as well. Yeah. And, you know. <laughs> It's portraying a certain image that is not really who we are, you know. It's what they you see on TV. A lot of people that don't even don't really understand it when they watch a certain television show or movie or music video, they feel that what they see is what they're getting in reality. Yeah. But it really isn't, you know. That's why I don't. That's why I don't like that because a lot of us black people, we're all different, you know. We're all different shapes, sizes, you name it. You know, we're all not the same. We don't portray us in that light because that's not what it is. Or who we are. Um, so, uh, I, I, I just picked up, there's, um, I believe there's a law that's passed in uh, Arkansas and Florida. I think uh, Illinois is trying to pick it up. Um, Tennessee is also trying to pick it up. And it's a law against sagging. You, you know, you'll you probably will get you get hit with decent exposure. Um, you know, I know one of my favorite players, uh, Des Bryant, got kicked out of mom because his friends were sagging. Oh, you don't worry about that. They didn't suck anyway. Ain't nobody asked you. Um, so, you know, uh, in Arkansas, and you know, uh, I think in Florida, you know, there's the population from the census says that it's 28.4 uh, percent of black black people there. Now, if you cut that in half. And they've passed a law against sagging pants. You cut that in half. Uh, that's half your. That's your youth right there. That's your youth. And you know. So think about how many of them are going to end up in jail over just because they pants sagging. It's playing both sides. Exactly. You know? And then you're gonna get hit with the guilty by association. So think about that. Even the percentage that is just hanging, not not sagging, but just with that percentage. Um, in Arkansas, there's 7.4 percent. And I know it may not be big, but half that. Half of them are gonna be in jail because pants. I don't. I don't know about Illinois. I know that. I, I believe they're trying to pass those laws in those places if they haven't in Tennessee. If they haven't already, you know. So it really, it really hurts us. Yeah, it really does. Um, you know, not only they, it's like it's not even working neither sides because if you are if your pants are sagging and you get caught, you know, I mean, you're going out the same way nothing's gonna nothing's working you're gonna be just trapped yep. and, you know these rappers know exactly what they're doing, doing just thinking about it if they you know they're looking up like I said they're looking up to them and you know you know this young guy sees that and think about it 
you know, there's a lot of Florida rappers probably out there, and, you know, they might have some idols, and people, and, you know, younger kids may be following them, and they follow them right into a ditch. Yeah. And, you know, it sucks, and you're just bringing them along, and some of y'all don't even realize that you're bringing them along. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we got to start, so, you know, let's keep telling them, you know, pull your pants up, man. You want to be like me, nigga? Do something better than me. You know, I sag my pants, but do something better than me. Uh, I, you know, be, be, show me, show me that you can be something else, you know. Uh, you know, really, Thug Life era is not over, but at the same time, you should your pants shouldn't be that low anymore. You, especially, especially once you see people in like thirty, what, what, like being thirty years old, yeah, and the pants sagging, and you know, at twenty eight and all that. Come on, man, you guys are grown adults. You know, make a change. Make a change for us. You know, it look like it looks, it does look bad on all of us. You know, everybody's gonna point their finger. And say, um, oh well, that's how they are. So we are. So, you know, th that's just you know, let's just get our pants pulled up, please. Help this next generation out. It's not about all about us. We, you know, it's Man, about the next. Oh. That's right. It's all about the next generation. So, uh, you know, and you know, be aware of who you're influenced by too. Mm -hmm. A lot of these rappers, I swear, all this stuff, all that stuff is a gimmick. It really is. All the cars, the money, the jewelry, all that. It's just a certain way to to get your attention to where you want to do the same thing. Exactly. But really, to be honest with you, I don't think none of that stuff is really there. No, it's not. It's like how you said. Because when you see, even when you see a music video, all you see, they either have a white, a gray, or a black car. It's because they're renting it. Exactly. I know damn well if there was a rapper. He could have got a car and customized it all the way out, mm -hmm. but they don't. They don't have. It's all a gimmick, and I think it, they're used, They're being used as a tool to grab you, so you can do the same thing and put you right in the place that they want you to be in jail and in prison. So, yeah. So, um, you know, we thank you guys. For, you know, keep following us. You know, keep watching our videos. We're trying to help out the community. We're trying to help. We got so many projects, so many things that we need to. You know we're we're doing. You know we're trying to push the 50 shows, and you know in 40 days almost. You know just check out for our next events. Um, like we say every episode, you know we just average black people like you. We just feel that some things need to be addressed.